Hey everybody, welcome back to the family channel. Hello. Hello. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And today we're going to be reacting to 10 things that shock tourists about Texas. So anyway, guys, let's get into the video. Before we get in, please make sure to scroll down a little bit and hit the subscribe button. Anyway, let's get in. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walters World, and today we are here in San Antonio, Texas, for yeah, 10 right. things yeah. that shock tourists oh. when they... I love those. I absolutely love those long I like them. Can they actually hurt you with them? Um, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, do they go like purposely <laughs> towards you I'm with sure, them? I'm sure, maybe. But if look at the cowboys, even. Yeah. They look, they're beautiful, oh, no, but they look a bit scary. I love I think. them. I love cows. I love cows with a side of. That's they unusual. come here to Texas, and I'll be honest, the what, first thing the that shocks you yeah. when you come to Texas is how much the Texans love Texas and everything <laughs> that is Texas. Whether cool. you talk about having puffy tacos in San Antonio, whether you're talking about having a good time in Galveston, whether Beautiful. you're heading to the hill country for some wine, whether you're making waffles in the shape of a Texas waffle or you have towels that say texas proud or texas strong right or the texas flag everywhere oh, my texas texans flag. love texas at everything texas so if you're not sure what to get your texas friend for a gift buy them something texas -y. Oh, yeah. whether texas. it is in their sports they love heck how they decorate their driveway the ice cream yes you better be having your i've never been to texas but i freaking love texas I, yeah. ever since i was a little kid i don't know whether it's because i used to be obsessed with the program walker texas ranger Oh, I thought you were going to say Dallas. <laughs> and Dallas. My mom and I used to watch Dallas. I loved, I don't know, there's something I about Texas. I used to love watching Dallas. Yeah, with old, that what's person. his name? Oh, what's it? Oh, JR. JR and Sue Ellen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your bluebell when you're here, going to shop at HEB. Yes. What is Texas? <laughs> so just be, some, don't be surprised if you're like, wow. Texans really love Texas. So when you come to Texas, you'll understand why. It's actually a really cool state to visit. But the thing is, is when you visit Texas, my second shot for you is the size of Texas and the size of everything in Texas. I mean, it's insane. If you drive from Galveston, no. which is on the Gulf Coast, to El Paso in the far west, that is 800 miles, 1,300. That is the same sort of distance from here to Croatia mm -hmm. when we drove that is huge that's massive it is I did so not big like you don't realize how <laughs> big is that <laughs> that's what i was saying that's why i'm trying to be like when everyone's like oh we're gonna go here because i thought that in the beginning as well i was like oh we can just hear there everywhere because we're so used to being yeah. able to just jump on a train or or go somewhere that's not too far but look at the distance 827 two miles that's to england that's a flight that's yeah a, that's from that's slovakia to, to england, england. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like the car distance. 12 hours straight driving, no stopping at Bucky's, Bucky's. and taking in, the, you know, some beaver and nuggets and a drink and a kolache. No, 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 that's a straight through. That's still in the same state. I mean, it's it's insane the size you have in Texas. It is just an enormous state. And you have to take that in when you're here because if you're going to visit, you may say we're going to go see Texas. Well, you're probably going to see parts of Texas. Like we're on a trip now and we're doing Galveston, San Antonio, Fredericksburg, Dallas, and then heading out. Like I'd like to go to El Paso, see our friends there. I'd like to go up to Amarillo and see, you know, the Cadillac Ranch and stuff like that. But... I only have so many t so much time. It is a really huge, huge state. And the thing is, it's not just the size of the state that's huge. It's also everything Texas. You know the, the old saying, it everything's bigger, bigger in Texas. Texas. Oh, oh, it's true. Whether it is when you're going to Whataburger and you're getting a soda there, yeah. I think their regular is about, you know, nine gallons of soda. I mean, it's crazy how big it is. Go get yourself oh, some of that brisket. brisket when you're here at the Texas barbecue. Oh, the lines, oh, yeah. yeah, the lines are good. tell you guys. I got my smoker today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Places, yeah, they're Texas sized lines. Super, super long, but it's Texas sized. Good, good, good when you get that huge thing of brisket when you're here. Oh my God, it's so good. But yeah, it's going to be a lot. Those portion sizes, man, get some chicken fried steak. I mean, you'll be full for a couple of days if you're not used to the portion sizes here. And when we're looking at big, my another big I have to tell you about is the weather in Texas is just as big as the state. I mean, you will have. Texas summer? I mean, I, I was talking to a friend of mine. We were in Galveston and it's winter time here and there was nobody at the beaches, but it was still nice enough to go to because it was like in the 70s, you know, like in the 20s Celsius. So it was nice to go to the oh, beach too. I'd and be my in the water. Like, you know, yeah. you come back in the summer and like mid sentence he stops and goes, in the summer with Texas heat. Yeah, Texas heat. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to sweat just thinking about Texas heat. I mean, it is it is really bad. July and August here is like super, super big heat. So, so just be prepared for that. 
That's why Texas is great to visit all year round. I mean, we're here in the winter and it's gorgeous. I mean, it's wonderful. Oh, I love that building. Yes, I'm still getting some sun mm -hmm. and I'm, yeah. I'm actually wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but it's nice. There is one big weather thing I think you really need to realize is though is the bigness of the destruction that tornadoes can have here. So yeah. if we do hear a tornado siren, make sure you do I seek shelter if you are here during yeah, tornado season. I'm terrified of tornadoes and they like, I've never experienced anything like that. And you know with me, I don't mind the rain. So, well, I don't like the rain. Yeah. But is I hate the wind. Is the tornado the same like hurricane? No, the tornadoes no, are the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't like them. And um, I was actually, I think we are on the episode of Young Sheldon. Because I put Young Sheldon mm -hmm. on every night where Mima's house gets completely destroyed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was, yeah. I've seen that. Spoiler, sorry. It's but. hurricane season, you're down by Houston and stuff. I mean, you do need to pay attention to those things because it can be rather How dangerous. So do have a heads up because very... Texas weather mm -hmm. is really, really big. But it does make it great so you can visit the beaches in Corpus Christi any time of the year. And the thing is, I'm talking about all these different parts of Texas and all these driving you're going to do. And it's a big place. And, and what can make big drives actually okay? And that's my next shot for you. And that is the first time Bucky. you go into one of the big they love Bucky's. Bucky's. If you're not sure what Bucky's is, it's actually a gas station chain. They have smaller ones, but if you're on like I-10, like the... Actually, it's just popped up. There is this Italian guy with his American wife. Oh, yeah. And he did the videos on Bucky's. Oh, my little Bucky's. And I'm... he absolutely loved Bucky's. I can't wait to go like... and experience it because yeah. it's just yeah. something we've never experienced. Like mm -hmm. a gas station. Like... That it's like everything. a day trip to Bucky's. How exciting <laughs> yeah. is that? <laughs> People must think we're such weirdos. Like, you, you want to go to the gas station? Yeah, but if you're going to be in Texas, you got to yeah, gotta go have to, to Bucky's. There's one in New Brownsville between San Antonio and Austin. I mean, it's just huge. I mean, it's like, I like to say it's a Texas Target and a Texas-sized oh, gas Facebook, station Facebook. had a baby, but the baby was a really big baby and they made Bucky's because it has amazing food inside. Yes, you'll have freshly cut mm. brisket sandwiches that are fantastic from there. You'll get cinnamon rolls about this big, but most important thing is you'll be surprised how much you love beaver nuggets when you go there. You like that, I actually buy you? a big mm, thing yes. of them and give them as gifts for Christmas oh, because, oh my God, beaver nuggets bad, are so good. If but those are the same like, size as the bags that we got sent, they Quite big, no? Yeah, Four yeah. dollars. That's not big, too big. Nice, aren't they? Yeah. Huge this and thing is, but I mean that is Texas. <laughs> it's not like air. Yeah. Like, yeah it's like, like, it's like, pack, like, it's isn't it? Yeah. To the top. yeah, not like the crisps. Yeah. But what shocks people is how clean the bathrooms are. I mean, you yeah, talk to Texans anywhere for. around the country and you talk about Bucky's, like, oh yeah. Clean toilets, totally clean toilets. They are. I mean it's shockingly clean. Like Oh, I have no problem sending my kids in the bathroom to go by themselves and go pee, go do whatever you need to do. No problem because it's super, super clean. And it really shocks people that, yes, you can have super clean, super awesome bathrooms and that'll be awesome. And it's, an ex it's, it's a tourist place to check out when you're here in Texas. So go to Bucky's. I love now, my car. next shot for you is breakfast tacos I've heard about look these. when you come to texas you have to realize is that breakfast in I texas means breakfast tacos yeah. and they are phenomenal whether you're having with chorizo and potatoes or you're having it with <laughs> eggs and cactus or you're having it with eggs and bacon or whatever it is just oh my god they're so oh. good and i know a lot of people when you think of breakfast in america you think oh waffles well you can't have a waffle the size of texas shaped like texas okay there is that <laughs> i <laughs> love me you always goes off on a tandem yeah. but that Taco, that breakfast taco thing looks like it needs to come with instructions on how to eat it because it's just so, there's so much in there. That's, that's American breakfast. But the Texas breakfast is definitely the breakfast taco. And you know, if you're that going around around the US, not everywhere, like California's got good breakfast tacos too. But if you're going to other places, you think, oh, ta tacos start at noon and they go later. No, here you will have crazy awesome tacos for breakfast. And the thing is, you will find a local place. Maybe it's a gas station that has a little taqueria on the side of it, or just another taco place, like just Taco Haven right here next to me. You just go grab like some and enjoy it. Yeah. and love it. And I will give a shout mm -hmm, out to Torchy's yeah. Tacos in Austin that was our favorite place to get breakfast tacos it's kind of a chainy kind of thing but it was really good but honestly anywhere you go in Texas you just go get your breakfast tacos you'll be shocked how Sorry, much you love it honestly, second. Austin that was our favorite place to get breakfast car? tacos it's kind mm -hmm. of a that's what I really thing, want I want to get a photo with like you know the NYPD style of car because yes, yeah. of the movies and that I think they're just so actually, cool looking actually there is one of those in the town I saw it like recently I didn't think like I thought I saw it and then I was like, no, it can't be. But if, if it is, that's don't know cool. how did they but get it, really it here? Honestly, anywhere you go in Texas, you just go get your breakfast tacos. You'll be shocked how much you love it. And, and I think since that's a food one, I should probably go to another shock about the food here in Texas. And that is 
how your Tex-Mex and barbecue experience will change you. Look, when you come eating in Texas, the, it's not just the portion sizes, it's the fantastic food. And the barbecue here, the barbecue briskets, that's what you're gonna get here when you come here to Texas, is phenomenal. And it kind of makes you rejudge all other barbecue places you go to when it comes to brisket, but also the Tex-Mex is here. And what shocks people is they don't realize is that Tex-Mex food is that different nice. than Mexican food. And they're like, wait a minute, this isn't Mexican food. No, it's not. It's Tex-Mex, and that kind of shocks people when they come here. Now, my next shot for you when you come here to Texas, if you travel around, you'll be shocked how diverse the state is. Look, there's swamps in Texas. There's desert in Texas. There's there's hill Texas. country right Zero here where you go graffiti. around. You have the coast yeah. with the beautiful beaches. I mean, Texas is so diverse. Yeah, that's what really frustrates me here in Europe is we've got such beautiful old buildings, yeah. but then you'll always get these young idiots who graffiti on them, and that really frustrates me. I didn't see any on there. Now, I'm not saying there isn't any. He might not just be showing it, but... I like yeah, that. Yeah, but even mm. like, look, the street yeah. that he's standing on, there's like no, there's no litter. cigarette butts or anything lying around or... And it's geography and it's topography and you're here. I know a lot of us, when we think of Texas, we think of the old westerns, right? Oh, that's and so what you have to realize is the old westerns, that's not all Look Texas. Yes, Texas is hot and there are some dry parts, but but if you're going to El Paso, you'll definitely get the desert feel. Believe me, you'll have that there. But if you're going to like Fredericksburg and you're going to the hill country, or if you're that's going to yeah. Dallas with all the lakes that are um, up around there, or going to Galveston or Corpus Christi, San, South Padre Island, and having the beaches, you have all this diversity that's Whoa. here in the state that you realize that, wow, Texas really Really is different. I mean, driving to Fredericksburg in the hill country from here, it's like an hour and a half drive, hour, hour and a half drive from where we are. And you're just like, wow, I'm in a completely different place. <laughs> and I think my little experience with random people from here in San Antonio coming up and saying hi while I'm filming really represents the next shock of coming to Texas. And that is how friendly, how nice, and how yes. upstanding the people are here in Texas. I mean, when you go around that Texas pride they have about their state, they're going to tell you where to go, where to eat, what to see, what to do all those things and they'll give you the little hints as well oh but get this taco when you're there get this when you're there oh ask them to like do this check them out like the people that home here the guy was telling me he's like oh they make really cool t-shirts you can get that too you have all this amazing personality in texas i know people talk about big texas and big people in texas and loud and boisterous but they're loud Dude, boisterous like fun it. and friendly and that's what shocks me when they come here like wow texas cool. people really are Texas cool. people yeah. because Texas people really have never met someone they haven't wanted to talk to and make sure they enjoy this state so definitely you will meet some locals when you are here and you will have a good time meeting them but honestly people from Texas my buddy Mark and Ronnie and and Ann and everybody have just been Terry all the Texans we met and Billy and, and Jim Van Cleve and all the great Texans we met over the years Jen oh my I gosh I so many great Texans have shown us the state <laughs> and help us enjoy it I just want to say thank oh, you to all I you I want Garen and Leia to go on this thing i'll go on it as well i would love to <laughs> yeah i've seen some people they were put it on really quick and yeah, there I'd... would be some people just like no. <laughs> i don't think they'll be that Trip, mean to you're you. awesome and for travelers coming here you'll be shocked how much you're gonna love the texans when you do come and the next shock I have for you is with those Texas people is how much they love football. And the yeah. thing is, it's all kinds of football. Yes, it is, you know, if you like the Friday Night Lights high school football stuff, I know it sounds corny and cheesy, but people love football. They'll go watch the high school games, the college game. Yeah, hook them horns, right? You got you know, the University of Texas, you got That's SMU, awesome. you've got so many colleges. Texas A&M is probably the better one right now, but don't tell people that out loud. But you have <laughs> Texas Tech. I, I have to give a shout out to Texas Tech because some of my good friends graduated from there. But people really love, love love football when you're here and yes their professional teams on Sundays aren't doing so well Houston and eh, we don't really talk about the Texans I mean the Cowboys you gotta love the Cowboys when you are here and and and, and one of the things that's funny is you might be shocked is you can do a tour at Jerry World AT&T Stadium in Dallas and it's huge I mean it's huge I mean it's Texas so it has to be huge but that love affair of football and sports and just outdoorsiness and everything is just really a part of Texas that'll shock you like wow football and outdoors and all this stuff is true Texas all right and then I think I need to talk about if we're talking about the people we need to have this shock and this shock is how fast everyone this is something drives people have told me Texas. be careful because they drive really quick really? yeah what? I mean you need to be ready when you come to Texas for the speed because yeah the speed limit's 75 you know sometimes on the back highways I'm like what the back roads see kind of highways it's kind of weird it's 75 and people are flying all over the place on the highway like I mean future. I still remember my first trip to Texas we were driving from <laughs> you're school. right boy it did look very futuristic didn't it I'm like, look at that <laughs> I'm like is that it? 
Like, <laughs> on the highway, I mean, I still remember my first trip to Texas. We were driving from Springfield, Illinois to Nuevo Laredo. And my dad and I were switching back and forth. And at two o'clock in the morning, I'm driving through Dallas, getting through the Metroplex. I'm driving in, and I might be going like 75, something like that. And, and this is back in the day, so I don't know if 75 was the speed limit back then. And I, I look in the back mirror and I see this light and this Lamborghini goes <laughs> right by me. I mean, it was just like a normal thing, you know? But you gotta be ready for the fast drive when you are here. And also you'll be shocked is when there is road construction, how like tight they make the roads on there. So it can be a little stressful, especially if you're driving at night. So do have a heads up for it. Cause you might be shocked. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? So and the short on yeah, and off yeah. ramps. Yeah, that's another one that might shock you when you are driving here. But with a state this big, you're gonna have to drive a lot. So be ready for it when you do come. So I hope you enjoyed my 10 things that shock tourists when they come here. I, I love yeah. this video. There's always yeah. a lot more wonderful things and maybe not so wonderful things that might shock when you come here. Let us know what shocks you about Texas in the comments below so we can learn more about this great state. And if you wanna learn more about visiting Texas, we've got the don'ts of Texas, what to eat in Texas and all kinds of other great stuff. I'll stop it there. I love this uh, video. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's may, so like bubbly. Bubbly and like just so. It makes me excited though. Uh, the only thing I like get nervous about sort of is the driving. And I should be okay with the drive because the driving here in Slovakia is a bit crazy as well. Yeah. So I should fit uh, in just yeah, fine. Yeah. And I've driven in central London and that. So I should yeah. be okay. But if you're going in a speed limit, it should but be But that's okay. what he's saying. Like you're going, to, he was going 75 and someone still came bombing it past him. Yeah. And a few people have said that, yeah, you've got to go quick. <laughs> so, and if you don't know where you're going well just go quick and go past <laughs> so you can turn around yeah. what do you reckon i actually like what I was like... your shocks did you have any shocks was there anything you weren't expecting the driving yeah i knew it was good the driving yeah. is part of it i think mm -hmm. yeah. and the, how nice the people I knew, I knew that already but like you get slow like people like at the shops and stuff yeah but not all slow back people. Not, i mean yeah. it's a different thing isn't it i don't think people mean to be rude i just think nowadays especially in europe like in london and that especially no one greets you or yeah. anything in the shops they dare to do a job whereas i think people are just friendly in general yeah which is so nice mm -hmm. to hear like everybody like most of the people are really mm -hmm, friendly yeah. you know? and we've had it on the lives and that haven't we yes. everyone we've spoken to really has been really kind yeah, and friendly. really fun funny and friendly so yeah, we've, yeah i can't wait i really can't wait yeah one day i was thinking if we go i think we're only gonna be able to manage one meal a day why Oh, because of the amount. Yeah. <laughs> no, not me. I, I want to try everything. But yeah, Same. you're probably right. But probably... Texas is just like, it's amazing yeah. place, isn't it? I can't wait. Like, I just... and then... It's a shame that it's so big though. <laughs> well, that's. I think that's what makes it so cool as well. Is that like, yeah. you, if you go there and then you'll have to say, right, I've got to go again because it's so yeah. big. I didn't see this part. Yeah. I didn't do this yeah. part. So yeah, yeah, I think it's the gift that keeps on giving. But we will see. Like I say, I've got no experience. I've never been there. I'm only going on my like my childhood thoughts and then maybe I'll go there and get disappointed. <laughs> I don't think I so. I hope it. not. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Uh, we will see you. Tomorrow, probably. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.